Minecraft 1.9 is coming pretty soon, it seems, and that means feature work is done. I want to look further ahead here for a minute and suggest something, possibly for a later version. This is something I know pretty much all command blockers want, even counting only Minecom panels. Seth Bling mentioned it, Sark mentioned it, Dragnos mentioned it, and Sparks mentioned it. It's the ability to read and change NBT data. Now the problem with that is that at first glance it seems like this undefined fairy wish. Big and difficult to implement. I've never seen anyone suggest the actual specifics of how it could be done. It's always this fuzzy thing of, wouldn't it be nice if we had some way of reading any data field? Now I've come up with a design for these commands that I believe is reasonably simple to implement and that fits nicely with the commands that we already have, but also at the same time provides maximum amount of expressive power for command block inventions and map making. So I present to you slash scoreboard players read and slash scoreboard players write. The purpose is simple, one is for reading a value from an arbitrary NBT field into a scoreboard and one is for taking a scoreboard value and writing it as the new value of an arbitrary NBT field. So let me go through how they would work and then we'll talk a bit about what's so good about these and what you could do with them. First of all the read syntax would be slash scoreboard players read entity objective field address and an optional scaling. To make that clear let's take an example slash scoreboard players read at p held color selected item dot tag dot display dot color one. So we start with scoreboard players read, then in the entity we want to read from, in this case the closest player. Then there's held color, which is the scoreboard objective we want to update. Now come the interesting bits. The field address is the JSON path to the data field we want to read. Here we're reading the color value inside the item held in the player's hand. So if you're holding a dyed leather helmet, for instance, we can read that color value directly into a scoreboard. The scale at the end is set to 1 here, we'll get back to the point of that later. Now the JSON path used for the NBT field address is the interesting part here. It's a pretty natural syntax to anybody who's worked with NBT or JSON before, yet powerful enough to allow access to almost any field in Minecraft, something that would move command locking ahead by a great leap, opening up a variety of new ways of making inventions. And we're only halfway there, the other command is just as important. Slash scoreboard players write entity objective field address scaling. Exactly the same syntax, exactly the opposite functionality. Take a scoreboard value, write it into an NBT field addressed with a JSON path. We're talking about a command here that could have removed over 100,000 command blocks from the predator invention that I made, and that's only the start. There are also many inventions that I come up with that snag, because you'd need to be able to read and write values. These new commands provide an easy yet implementable way of doing just that. So what about values that are not integers? Things like health, which now in Minecraft 1.9 can't be tested for properly on mobs, because it's a floating point value now, not an integer. That's where the scale factor comes in. When reading NBT values, the scale factor is used to multiply the value before saving it into the scoreboard objective. That means that if I'm interested in a player's movement speed, I could use the factor of 10 to be able to detect movement speeds of one tenth of a block per second. This would look like slash scoreboard players read at p x speed, for instance, motion with square brackets 0 and 10. When writing values, the scale factor is used to divide the value, scaling it back down to the same magnitude it was when read. I believe these two commands would give command blockers almost all they've been asking for and still be reasonably easy to implement with well-known components like JSON paths that both already have existing implementations and that come naturally to users. So what problems remain if these commands were to be implemented? Well, some lists in the game are unordered, which makes them impossible to address using fixed indices. One notable example of this is inventories, where each entry uses a slot ID to identify the slot rather than a certain index in the list. I don't have a definite answer to that problem at the moment. Maybe a scoreboard player's read item and write item could do the trick, or maybe somebody has a better extension to the suggestion. The most important part is, I want to get this suggestion out there and start moving this discussion away from we want this hazily defined feature into the realm of specifics that could actually be implemented by the developers at Mojang. And to that end I invite you to the discussion. If you see any flaws in these commands please say so in the comments, and if you have other ideas or comments on how to improve these commands then please do take the time to write them down. In my view this is the next revolutionary step for Minecraft as a tool for map making and crafting new gameplay from command blocks. My name is Slice Lime. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you next time.